Okay, I would like to share about our new open source project, so-called um, Asha OpenAI ChatGPT Auto Grader. Actually, it is not just ChatGPT, also use other model. Um, first of all, I would like to share a problem with this. Um, for a teacher, you need to sometimes uh, grade off your student assignment, which, which should be in, in doc, 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 uh, work document or PDF, something like that. Um, and normally, for, for our institution, it was, uh, we are using Moodle, and then um, I need to download the Moodle uh, assignment from my uh, from the website, and then uh, open the file run by run, and then check it, grade it. Um, this kind of work is quite tedious and time consuming, and sometimes it's very difficult to make um, the assessment be fair and consistent since if you are a teacher you will be tired or some sometime at the midnight or something and this is the reason why I want to have a using AI to automate to grade off my student assignment at once and then to make sure I can give the mark to all my students fairly and also uh, effectively yeah um first of all I would like to introduce the assignment for my student and my student is working on the assignments is the writing okay it's a writing it's so called a uh it's writing a, a paragraph about a passage about his uh, his work uh his study and have about his internship is the writing what they are doing and then they submit 100 uh around uh about 100 students here and and I mean, I'm willing to use a, to show you the result first, since uh, it's difficult to understand the problem. I show you the result, and here's the result. Let me download the result, and then open it. For the results, more important is that how I can get a mark for my student, okay, and and also the comment and the reasons. And how many times the chance they are uh, they copy from internet to some probability, and also I uh, see they using AI to do the assignment. It's just attractive about that, and also we I want to custom them on on the setting. Okay, um, first of all, here is the uh, one of the output for the for the calculation after the remodeling. It we can I can estimate the student um the similarity of their answers. Um, but before that, I want to explain the notebook I'm I'm working on. Um, first of all, it is the it's very straightforward. If you want to use this uh tools, you just need to come to here from my GitHub repository, and then create code space. Just a few click. Um, and then you need to prepare your uh Asha, uh Asha Open AI key. Yeah, since you need to fill in the key here to rename it to environment variable, environment uh, file. And then you just need to run this notebook. Yeah. Um before that you need to upload the file here called submission submission. This is a few step here. Open the code space, create the upload, upload into this folder and then run it. Um let me do some background explanation for my for our source code. As first of all, we need to install some package. We use a lot of package from test processing and open AI mainly, and some data scientist package. And then I will um the source code will extract the file for my student from my student. Since some of the student will receive their their file and then you need to extract twice at least two time um to make sure that you can read their content so i will try it is it there is work file there pdf file there or zip file there if it is the zip file you will extract one more time and then flatten their file so that we will be in the flat level here is the output yeah of my student submission here and then they will be put in here some of students may have a, a fail file here and some of them will have been extracted from the zip or pdf yeah okay um after that we normalize all the file at least we have some we make sure uh, they have a pdf or a document file in the folder as a submission and then we will process the document of the microsoft Word files first uh, we will uh, use a library to extract the text content there's no image yeah purely test test content into the data theme and then um and then we will process the pdf file is the second round and then we will also in the data beam and the result will become like that we will have the student name path uh document here and then the source and then their answer yeah um with this result we can 
we can start to save the temporary flower here and so that we can have a track pawn and don't have to we want everything and now start calling the Austro open AI track GPT to to grade my student assignments and I just using the track GPT 3.5 turbo is this good enough for me to to handle the problem and I will try to explain a bit here it's quite straightforward but the metric uh, behind the scene to do the automatic grading is about the marking scheme um the marking scheme will be low from low from our source code as a template and then combine with the student answer and then send to track GPT and then get the get the analyzed results and here's my uh, our design of the marking scheme first of all I need to provide a story about our assignments so that uh, so that you know the chat GPT you need to provide some context for it so that it can able to uh, understand your your requirement or problem here is the writing requirement so the student is for this requirement to write something we will evaluate it and then here is the template we will replace by student answer and the source code is quite straightforward we, we do have a very simple source code to replace the we paste the student answer here, then student can uh the template will output here the student answer and give the instruction. Um this part of the assignment is total from zero mark to seventy mark and then uh each each required step will become a rule here and then you just mention how many marks here it will chat GP will, will be able to understand. And also I want my assignment to be have some is the student copy from internet and we don't want them to copy from internet directly we want chat gpt to to estimate how much they are copy and likelihood and then the is it generated by ai and it's still working yeah uh, but just a reference and also i want them to have a comment oh uh, so that student can understand what is going on first of all i need to chat gpt to explain about the calculation show the detail mark of each of the rule above and then um you you need to go to uh you need to encouraging style don't ban for them to their way that lower mark they're lazy i want everything is positive in the comments and here's a track for the a uh, debug that a, a period of time and since the metric between the track GPT and programming interface is that API need to be in JSON. You can use this magic line. It's very important. This is magic line. Do not do any explanation. Only provide the standard compiled JSON here. It will give you a JSON format as an answer. But sometimes if you're um, if you're doing something like me, uh, you want to track GPT you have some comment uh, on the on the answer. Or student feedback you need to make sure there is no double quotation here so this line is very important you need in your comment you must replace all the sing, double code into single one also i don't want it to be answered too long comment so it's just 200 word is okay and after this one we will look through all the student assignment this 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 step is take some time since i don't want to ddos the api and just let it let it run by run and for the case, oh, we got I got so many students, seventy students something. Um, it is take me seven se seven minutes around about seven minutes. And some of the case will have some error. For example, this student is is have some problem. It is the answer. They submit a a document is is nonsense long, very very long. So it will become an error, and we will not mark it. But in the data frame, we will have the record of, of this camera is so is so the quorum the student hot the error. Okay, here this one you got the got the answer and comment and the mark in the data frame for each student. It's quite interesting. Uh, it just die automatically help me to answer and then give comment to my student. And after the track GPT graded, I want to know about the um what student is doing and is it a copy from other or are they doing something very very bad or very similar. Yeah. Um first of all I want to uh do some custoding or visualization about their answer. And uh, I need to do the embedding and custoding. I just um in uh and have another set of copy from the sample code from Microsoft Azure document 
and then I just create a copy of the data frame, have a checkpoint so that I can reload it, don't have to run everything. And I follow the config from the document, and I just normalize a bit, do a bit NLP processing. I don't have to remove something. Um, this is useless for the for the model. Just a normalizes. But there is a metric as the as the case is the assignment. Since some of the student is doing nothing, they just submit an a empty folder here or never submit anything, and they just want to cheating. They just want to test about the lecturer. Is it he is lazy? He never read my answer, so they just submit an empty file or dump it here. So they just, they do nothing. If they find the content is invalid, nothing there is 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 nothing. So it is at least we will since if you, if you couldn't the embedding is an empty string, it will cause some error for you. So that you just do nothing is there, and I normalize the result and then um get the encoding token, this is a recommendation. I'll make sure it will not be very long, so that it's longer than that, it's just truncate it. Yeah, truncate it. And here is the, the normalized answer, and the final one is do nothing. Yeah, this student is do nothing. And now I coin the uh, test embedding ADA model, and get the embedding, and then it will return a, a red tab for me. Yeah, we turn a, a a high dimensional red tab for me. And then I need to use the red tab to, to do the clustering. Or uh, I just reload the embedding, make a copy so that I can I don't need to I rerun I don't need to rerun the, the first part. Since you if you rerun the trash DPD and rerun the the ADA embedding is is cause you additional trust of resources and API money. Um and now is the uh, using the clustering technique to just some sample go from internet just came in clustering. I try to, uh, but you need to if you want to do it, you need to train the number cluster. To, we try a few time to make the answer reasonable, or or you may rewrite my source code just look through all the possibilities so they get the best clustering answer. And but just here, just a demonstration. I just want the clustering so that I can suppose that I, I have seven cluster. I will I will know the situation about then. And but this is not really good. I want to visualize um the displays for my student. And here is the uh, some output and final result. I want to do the dimensional reduction with uh, principal component analysis so that I can um I can just extract the three major uh components so that it is representative for the dimension of the of the student who is the most separated and grouped together. And now is we got the PCA embedding. Okay, got the PCA embedding, the visual embed for visual, and then I put the three D visualization with the mat uh MATLAB PyPort and just the uh, scatter it and with the cluster as a color and then highlight the student name here you can see like is is this, this is doing nothing so it's doing nothing and this one is also doing something quite distinct but other student is, is answer something very similar here and from the cluster and the and the and the and the and the vd port i can i we can i can have some overview of my on my student what they are doing and and how how does what uh, how is the perform and just for the beginning of the analysis and this is something very fun project i think every teacher will love this project as it will it has been saved me i developed it for, with a few hours but um this few hours can save me a lot a lot of time in the future and thank you very much